Absolutely glorious morning here again this morning. It seems to be that the massive hill mountain blocks out all of the rotten weather, so it's just peaceful, calm, glorious sunrise. Beautiful. The walk from the car took me slightly longer than I hoped, so I got here just as the sun was coming up. So I've rushed a few compositions, which is not great to be honest. But I've gone with the coast curving round and pointing up towards the, the rising sun with the mountains in the background. I thought while I'm here I'll come away from the lake and there are plenty of paths leading up onto the ridge line. Should get some glorious views from there. Even from here, the landscape just stretches way way back. That was one hell of a climb, but look at the views! hillside I came across these marshy pools and I'm sure thousands and thousands of people have walked past these and just said yeah bog but what I like about them is they are reflective well it is when the wind stops blowing anyway there are some really really nice clouds in the background and they are pointing drawing your eye out into the distance and up towards those clouds so I'm going to take these shots I doubt these have ever been taken but who knows so when you take a shot like that, one thing you've got to remember is not to put your polarizer on because remember a polarizer takes the glare off, takes the reflection off effectively so you won't be able to actually see the clouds. So leave that behind. You can put a neutral density filter on the front to slow the water down so you get a bit more of a sheen. No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call so many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Holy moly, it's a long way off why do I keep doing this to myself? I was just thinking on the way up here I should rename my channel Ian's Acrophobic Adventures Oh sh... Okay I really don't like heights My... My stomach's in nuts Maybe this is a virgin therapy, maybe... <laughs> maybe this is helping me in some way So as I was having that slightly panicky moment then, I just thought, actually it's a really good hero shot here, but I can't get the tripod high enough, so if I just took the drone, probably 20 foot in the air, stood on the rock there and shot downwards, that'd be quite good. Well, they call them hero shots, don't they? I'm not, I don't class myself as a hero, but anyway. Selfie. Drones are absolutely perfect for that kind of photography, where you just need that slight elevation. It's hardly a gale today, so I really didn't want to fly it out 
over the lake. There's absolutely no way I want to lose it. But just near that elevation. And the sun is shining, obviously you can see it's shining right on my eye at the moment. So I needed to get up and then point the camera down, take that, like I said, that hero shot, whatever it's called, that selfie. And you can just elevate the drone probably 50 foot in the air and then point downwards get the lake in the background and get me in the foreground so absolutely perfect Unfortunately at this point I lost the sound from my microphone, I have no idea why. Basically what I'm saying is I went all the way to the top of that, the highest promontory and then I made my way back. I didn't really vlog on the way up there because it was really really windy and I was stood far too close to the edge. So I took some shots while I was up there, some of which you will see now, and then I made my way back down to the lake. come all the way down to the lake's edge now from way way up there about an hour ago I've just been looking for compositions it's midday sun now so it's not brilliant but just been looking for compositions and in the rocks just behind me there are some pyramidal triangular shapes and I was looking for an interesting foreground for that and there's a rock in the water which is also a triangular shape so I'm gonna put that in the foreground and then those rocks, which have got the sun on them at the moment, uh, in the background. <laughs> not sure how well that worked because the rocks not it's not perfectly triangular, but you know it's supposed to give you, your eye some interest, and then it carries about in the background. And then you go, oh, actually, that looks a bit like that, doesn't it? And, so I put a six stop on there to try and calm down the water. It's got polarized as well because we don't need any reflections. Uh, so that's to darken that down. And then still in the same spot, I just turned the camera around almost 180 degrees. And I spotted another shot with the it's actually quite nice marsh grass, I guess. Marsh grass, rocks, lake, hill, promontory where I was stood before. Yeah. I quite like that.
Now on the way up here last night I spotted there was one waterfall cascady thing with a tree really nice looking tree at the right hand side but the light wasn't on it and then I saw that lily pond daisy I have no idea what they are I'll have to look it up um, that needed some light on it as well so I should stop dilly dallying around here because I think I've got quite enough footage of the lake now and head back towards the car down the path and find that waterfall and those those flowers So I've just come down to the water's edge now, so this is way way down from the lake, probably about a mile away. And this is the location that I took a photograph of yesterday when the light was lighting up the mountain in the background and got the waterfall in the foreground. If you come slightly further round you get all these white flowers. So the shot is these white flowers across this small pond leading up to the waterfall and then leading up out into the distance. This is a focus stacked image and I've taken three, so one for the flowers immediately in front of me one halfway up and then one out in infinity. For the next image of this location, I got closer to the waterfall. So they always say that you should have the water cascading around you. So I put the tripod into the water, put a polarizer on to take the glare off the water, I put a ND, six stop ND filter on which gave me about a second which just gives it that glossy silk appearance and then just made sure that in the background I haven't got any people, I've got the view from the background. Final location before I go back to the car, this is absolutely glorious and spoilt for choice with compositions. I've got one, two, three, possibly four waterfalls. Sun is shining on them, tree to the right hand side, mountains in the background. Photographer's heaven! Wow, and I've just noticed as well that this waterfall here, the water is spraying up from the rocks underneath. Wow. Stunning. So that's it from Linny van Vak. What an absolutely stunning, glorious, beautiful, pretty place. If you're a landscape photographer, it's got everything. Waterfalls, 
lakes, mountains, nature, trees. It's been amazing. I looked it up on Google Earth, so that's how I find it in the first place. And then I looked for some images on Flickr and they weren't bad. And then I looked up some vloggers on YouTube and they didn't really do it justice to be honest. I guess in their defence it was grey and dark and horrible and wet. Whereas today is glorious and sunny and we've had a sunset, a sunrise. So <laughs> we've had it in buckets. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and I hope the images turned out alright. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe as you will. See you next time.